Hello and welcome to this Safe 6.0 Fiber template video. My name is Carl Starndahl and I'm one of the Global Safe Fellows, the, the people who guide us toward the future development of the framework, and also a senior advisor in Agile and leadership with We Are Movement here in Sweden. And my job today is to, in this video, position how the Fiber tool and the Safe framework can be combined to leverage each other's strengths. And overall, uh, I think the key combination here, the, the really beneficial thing here is the combination of the flexibility in the Fargo tool that can be adapted and configured very flexibly to work as you need. That also combined then with the stability as a starting point that the framework provides in how do we start working, what's the terminology, what kind of flow work would we start with, and then as we evolve that, the Favre tool can then flex towards that. So you can then adapt as you move forward. And overall, this specific template that you get access to has uh, the standard three layers in SAFE. It's a portfolio, which has a roadmap and Kanban flow board for your epics. And in this case, you're looking at it here with two development value streams built as lanes in the Kanban board. So you can see the flow of the different epics in there. But then you also have a dashboard for your art. This would be the work area for one singular art in one of those development value streams. So that one would have a Kanban board with a built-in roadmap that I'll show you for the features being built. And then you, you have also a planning area for the handoffs identified in PI planning. So you can track and manage those together, a art planning board. And then it has a template for teams, team one and two, that can build out their own team area where they work with a combination of an iterative method or a flow method, and then break down the work in the features and epics to work items that they actually do. So there's both a PI planning board in there and a Kanban board for the user stories that they build. So that's the basic outline of the template. So let's start looking into the portfolio part. So the portfolio, we call the portfolio dashboard template, contains this portfolio Kanban with the built-in roadmap. And one of the strengths of the Favre tool here is the idea that the card can live in multiple places. So an epic is represented by a card. And that one can both exist in this flow board, where it's being identified in the portfolio, but also it can then exist in a singular art dashboard. So meaning that this epic, for example, that's being built here, you can see on it that it's being built by art number one. So let's go click on that dashboard. And then, oh, so here it is portfolio epic number one so in this case we built a swim lane for the epic so this epic lives here and is being realized by the features over here that now flow through the kanban board and you can see that it's this one sits in the epic board up here in the portfolio and then you can if you go back to the portfolio and click it you can then see that oh it's in built by bar, art number one and it, that art has two features being built for it and so, so and this is literally the same work item displayed in both places. If I now rename this epic, for example, work with it, uh, do something with it, that would immediately reflect on the epic that lives in the art board. So you don't have to transfer information between different boards. You can just represent the same information through that card in many places functionality. And then also a big strength here is given the flexibility of the tool, is that once you define the basic outline for flow at the portfolio level and flow at the art level of the features, then teams can, as the framework suggests in version six also, which has also been there, but more clearly defined now, define their own working method. As long as they sort of adhere to the cadence and synchronization and the terminology and the ideas built into the framework, the overall outlines, teams can work Kanban, they can work Scrum, and they can combine and mix the method. And that's really nice because the tool can now be built out to reflect that teams work differently, or even though they work in the same frame, in the same flow as the joint art or the joint portfolio. And one thing that this tool really provides, that Favre provides, is the a challenge that comes with working with a flow-based method, method like SAFE, which is that you both need the flow. Here we're looking at the Kanban board for one art. So here are the features flowing through from inception until done. And this view provides the sense of how smooth is the flow at this art. 
But you also need another view to, to properly work, collaborate when you're building bigger solutions, which is, which is the discussion around road mapping, which is not static planning. Road mapping is a scenario sort of forecasting what if tool providing ideas for we could build this functionality first and then we could potentially branch into this. So it gives the ability to sort of talk about the future in a timeline similar form. And if you click the timeline tool here in Fabro, that immediately switches the Kanban board over to its timeline view. So these are the same features. And this is now, this is the one we're building in feature one in PI1. Here's the things we're hoping to build the PI after that. And here's a potential feature for the PI after that. And these are now the same features as you see in the flow. So as you rename them, as you work with them, as you add them, duplicate them, you get them displayed also on the timeline. So you can then do scenario sketching that reflects back on, oh, so we're now thinking that this one is further uh, further ahead. So let's back it up. In the, let's not start work on it yet. So that provides a timeline view in sync with the flow view. So again, portfolio board, same thing, a timeline view for your epic road mapping that is in the same board as the Kanban view. So this is literally your Kanban board, but viewed through the lens of what's the potential forecasting? How would we talk about sequencing? Okay, so let's talk about PI planning then. The uh, sort of the, the one of the really big events in the same framework where we pull teams together to plan and think about the future. How would you do that in safe using Fabro? Well, in this case, we've built out the PI planning board. So the, it's called that for each arc, which then provides the overview of here's the different iterations, and then. You can then have the handoffs being created to build the features identified between the teams displayed in that. And this uses the cards in many places function and also the idea that you can have one shared visualization, the planning board, and then each team has their own planning surface. So as a feature, in this case, feature four, this team two have pulled it, put it on their flow board, so in the feature parking lot here, and then as they build out user stores for that, they would switch over there to that view, and then we would add user stores. And then you link them to the feature like that. So that now means that these two user stores are building a feature number four. As you switch back to the Kanban view, we would then gonna add the tag here, team two user story, and also the appropriate color so that's now a user story. And now this feature shows that these user stories are built to support that. And then as it's being ready for PI planning, the team then thinks through what iterations would we build this in? Well, this would probably be something we're building in iteration two. And from that, as you estimate it, you can then see your estimation for that iteration. So this provides the basics for the PI planning in, um, in Fabro. And also as you have dependencies, as you discover them when you work, it's very easy for someone then to think through, okay, so this feature, that needs help from team one in this user story. Well, then we display it using the cards in many places function and the dependency view, which looks like this. So then you can have the dependency board called the planning board displayed for all teams in Fabro. The final thing that is really powerful is that the Fabro tool is basically a flow tool and the safe framework is a flow framework, which means that the metrics part can be really critical to understand what's going on. So in any Kanban board in Fabro, you can then immediately switch over to the chart view, which provides control charts for, for um, lead time and flow time is safe and also the cumulative flow time, uh, the cumulative flow chart, the CFD, that gives you a view on how things are queuing up and how you're, how much whip is going on in each state over time. And this is the same for the portfolio board. This is the portfolio Kanban board. If you click that to chart, you immediately get the, control, uh, the cumulative flow diagram and also control chart as you build up uh, flow time or lead time in here, you can see that in real time. So, the tool provides the necessary flexibility here that as you start with SAFE, your job is to quickly sort of evolve away from that. 
you learn about the work, you learn about your flow, which means that the boards need to change, the items need to change, and then your tool needs to be able to accept that flexibility and flex with it. And Pavro has that flexibility. And on the flip side, the safe framework can give you the, the shared terminology and the shared understanding of how to work with the flow that is needed to leverage the flexibility of this tool, tool as you start out. So that's it for me, and thank you for taking a look at this video. I hope you're successful using the combination of the SAFE framework and the Farber tool. Thank you.